Hey Go Green team, it is Michelle Odifer here, Red Jacket Leader from Michigan. And I am just coming back from conference in Texas and it was one of the most incredible conferences I have ever been to. If you have not been to an in-person conference, oh my gosh, you have to get yourself there. We have leadership conference coming up in Phoenix, Arizona. January 5th through the 7th. So if you are a leader in this company, start saving now. Put away, you know, $20, $30 a week so that you can have enough money to get your ticket, get your plane ticket, get yourself there. And if you're not a leader yet, make a plan to become one because Leadership Conference is honestly like my favorite conference. It is for the elites in our company and the training is absolutely insane. It's so good. But today I want to share with you some really amazing things that I learned from Carrie Kozel about team building. This was probably my favorite workshop, maybe my favorite workshop I think I've ever been to. And I think part of it is oftentimes we can struggle with team building. And I love how Carrie really set the foundation of preparing your mind before you talk to someone about team building um, and joining your Norex team, but then also some really concrete ways that she implements it in her business. She's very strategic. She's very intentional. And those are things that you want to be when you are growing your Norex team. So I have some notes that I'm going to reference so I don't forget anything. Um, the first thing, if you don't have a piece of paper, I just encourage you to get one because this, this was really helpful for me. Um, and the first thing that we talked about in this workshop is what are you currently telling yourself or feeling about team building, about asking someone to join your Norwex team? How does that make you feel? And just kind of write that down and then reference it when we come back. Possibly, what is your biggest fear about team building? And then I also want you to think about why do people want this business? There are so many things to consider when making your offer to invite someone to join your Norwex team. And some of the big ones that come to mind for me are flexibility, income, um, our mission, our incredible products. And what I found in my business is some of the two biggest reasons why people join Norwex are income and products. So keep that in mind as well and just kind of think about how that has affected how you've joined and if your why has changed since joining. So I think before we can talk about team building, we just really always have to have a very clear mindset. When you shift your mindset, you shift your results. So if you're thinking like, no one wants to book a party with me, no one wants to join my team, you know, it's the summer, people are busy, um, I'm too new to team build, just get all of those things out of your mind. And I want you to focus on the belief triad, which is a Kristen Boss thing. If you don't know her, definitely listen to some podcasts. She's amazing. And she also spoke at our conference. So the belief triad is belief in yourself, your offer, and your audience. To have a successful business, you need to have an unshakable belief in yourself. Also, your audience and our offer. Not only our business opportunity, but your offer for hosting a party with you, our products, and then of course our business opportunity. So you really have to have that honed in. And team building, it really is multifaceted. It's not just inviting someone to join your Norwex team, but I think the single most important thing is the relationship that you create with that person that you are inviting to join your Norwex team. And it starts way before you invite them to join your Norwex team. So I'm gonna give you some tips there on that. Um, if you didn't see yet, just kind of a sidetrack here, we have an amazing Bright Start program for brand new team members. And it earns them as they're going through these, um, like our old Fresh Start rewards, but they've got like souped up here hundreds of dollars of shopping spree, which is incredible. And then you as the team builder also can earn some amazing shopping spree as well. So if you haven't seen that, take a look in the back office because you're definitely gonna want to. Um, in addition to, you know, shopping spree um, that you can, like I love to use my shopping spree to grow my business. So when I earn a shopping spree, 
I'm already thinking like, okay, how can I give this back into my business to move myself and my team further along and really give back for um, growth? Other things, um, income, our compensation, our compensation plan is incredible. So when you promote into leadership with Norwex, you can earn and unlock a bonus in your manager's commission. We also have promote and grow bonus, the BBB incentive trips, all sorts of free things. So just a quick reminder about that. Okay, so the number one thing in team building is always going to be building relationships. And one way that Carrie mentions that she builds a relationship is when she has her hosts invite her guests, she sends a um, Google form when they request samples. The Google form gets their contact information and she doesn't just let that like, you know, go to the wayside. She's reaching out to those people. She incentivizes them by offering to enter them into a drawing when they fill out the um, Google form. And she really provides a service, customer service, to them in her follow-up. She does this both for online and in-home parties. So maybe she's saying something like, hey, Sarah, thanks so much for requesting a sample. I just wanted to let you know that it's on its way. Um, do you have any Norwex products currently? Or how did you hear about Norwex? Or how are you feeling about our workshop? Just getting them talking and like starting to create that relationship with you. A couple things when building the relationship before you present the offer of joining our Norwex team. Open communication, building trust, creating um, safety and conversations, and making your offer authentic not cold calling. I think a lot of this honestly just has to be being a good person, right? Like when you are genuinely trying to support that person that you're going to have that team building conversation and offer with, um, you have a heart for that person and what it could do for them. Okay. Um, Carrie had a really awesome thing that she shared about the rule of seven. So basically someone your audience has to see an offer seven times before that message or ad will even begin to sink in. This is, um, in fact, the Direct Marketing Association will tell you the average person does need to see or hear that seven times. So in her party, I'm gonna share with you the ways that she does that. Okay, so first off, how to share frequently but also authentically. Number one, your hosts are your hot leads. That means that your host, hosts make like the best team members. They're already excited. They already have like an audience of their own with their um, friends and family and guests at their party. So what Carrie does is she sends them our business opportunity flyer. She invites them to the call with Debbie Bolton. She um, offers them the opportunity to join her Normex team before ordering opens. And if they say no, she offers it to them again before she closes their party. Number two, she uses a simple poll and it's just for engagement. So she puts this in the party and here's some ideas um, for her poll. How much does it cost to get started with Norwex? And maybe she lists three or four prices, you know, $100, $99, like whatever, $9.99, um, $65.99, you know, just some ideas and gets people engaged. It's so easy to just click a button, right? And she says that she does this early in her party because she wants to plant that seed there for people. After the party and the demo and people who want like a million things in the catalog, it's going to come back around to them like, hey, I can join this company for $10 and get all these things that I want, right? And our Safe Haven 5 products, they're in our starter kit. That was pretty awesome. I love that Norwex does that. Okay, so number three, you're going to mention it in every demo that you do. And it doesn't have to be like in their face, in their face, in their face, but just something that's genuine and authentic. So um, demoing things from the starter kit, talking about the opportunity for extra income, saying things like if you're doing a live demo and your kids are running around, um, you know, guys, sorry, it's so loud, but like, I'm seriously so blessed that I get to work from home and be with my kids all day. Just something like that. Something that's genuine to you. Um, 
sharing a Norex story with some business opportunity info. So you're not just posting the flyers here, you're making a genuine connection about how this business opportunity has worked into your life and how it has blessed your life. Anyone can take a flyer and post that, right? Seriously, no big deal. So make it to you, make it genuine. All right, number four. So how many of us sell packages of Norwex, right? The Safe Haven 5 package, the Safe Haven 5 Plus package. Guess what? The starter package with Norwex, our business opportunity sign-on starter kit, is a package. I love that Carrie does this. So the starter kit is a package. The kit builder is a package. Be sure to share them with others. Give them the opportunity to purchase those packages, right? Number five share your way, or excuse me, share your why. <laughs> what has Norwex done for you? Get your face out there. Do, make sure you're doing those live demos. Make sure you're allowing people to see you and your family. If your Facebook and Instagram are private, that's totally okay. But the people in the party, the, your, your friends that are on your um, social media, let them see you and let them see your life. Be authentic, be vulnerable. Why might people want to join our wax? Mission, flexibility, income, personal growth. There's so many ways. All right, way number six, opportunity demo. So this is 10 to 15 minutes. Show the starter kit, print out a $10 bill or grab a $10 bill from your wallet. What's in it for them? 35% commission, um, $350 in shopping sprees, bonuses, trips, saving for um, maybe some family goals or their own vacations. And then address the object objections that people might have as you're going through there. You know, you could say something like the feel felt found. You know, before I joined Norwex, um, I felt like I would not have a enough time to do this business. But what I found is da da da. You know, stuff like that, but use the feel before that. Feel, felt, found. Okay. Um, share with them how they're going to be supported. We have so many incredible resources with Norwex. So not only are you going to be their support person, but Norwex has incredible resources, especially with our new training website, that they're going to be able to just hop on there and get the information that they need. Um, and then again, share your why. Okay. Last, last way of the seven ways, she pulls her customers again. So get a feel for where they're at. And she gives them like a scale, one to five. Number one, love the products. I'm just going to remain a customer. To number five, I'm ready to sign up. So Carrie follows up with anyone that is not a one. How awesome is that, right? Because if they're a two, they're still thinking about it. They probably have some maybe fears that we've all had or maybe some um, objections that you could help them overcome or understand more, which could help them make a better decision for themselves. And then incentivize this by participating. Give them like a giveaway for letting you know where they're at along the scale. So I want to say one thing really quick here. Obviously, following up is key. You want to make sure that when you're following up with them, that you are listening to what they're saying. If you're someone who tries to formulate an answer and not listen to what someone else is saying, just take five deep breaths, let that settle in your heart, and listen to that person because what they're saying is really going to be important. This was a beautiful quote that Gail Ratchford shared at a different conference, and I just want to leave you with this because this was so impactful for me. You are the inviter, not the decider. Do not decide for someone else that this business opportunity is or is not for them. You invite them to learn more. You give them the information. Do not immediately cross them off in your mind that they're not going to do this business. Same thing with hosts when you invite someone to host a party with you, right? We always ask everyone. Hope you have a great day, guys.